I'm about to cut a key for a 2015 Ford Focus. Um, the difference here and why this is important is because it's not the standard 10 cut uh, Ford Focus key for you with your 2011 series, you know, the um, uh, 10,001 to 11,500 code series. No, it's it's the one that uses the seven cut system or the seven cut key, the short key way, the rotunda um, 164 R 8022 key way. That's what um, this uh, key will, or this lock will use, this, this, this particular key right here. So there's only seven cuts here instead of ten, which you would find on the longer key blade. So I'm going to cut a key for this lock based on what's in the lock instead of being able to utilize the 10,001 to 11,500 code series for 2011 Ford Focuses and beyond. So hang in there with me and we're going to do this. This lock cylinder is held together by three different retainers and those retainers of course you have this one which is very visible right here and then you have another one which is down in here that just is uh, peened in it has to come out and then on the other side uh, there is another one uh, right in right in right right in here okay and that one there just kind of dries through the other side and then once that happens this lock slides out of the back so now that we've gotten these three re retainers here off of the lock we can start to disassemble this lock here and the next thing you know we'll have a, a plug with with tumblers just waiting on us to cut a key now, these are the three retainers that uh, we were talking about right here this and in the back this top and bottom no problem This lock, using that short key, only contains seven tumblers. Okay. Eight, nine, and ten are left empty. So it's not like the cylinder's any shorter, or the plug's any shorter, I should say. The reason why you have a different code uh, is because 
the tumblers, the number of tumblers in the lock uh, differ. Uh, the depths are the same. The spacing is the same. The difference is in the, is the number of tumblers. There's no different part number as far as the uh, plug in or the lock is concerned. It's all the same. The difference, so I've established a little chart here that I can use uh, and I've numbered it, you know, with the chambers 1 through 10. Uh, 10 being at the tip and 1 being at the bowl. So you can see that, uh, you, you can see that the, the length of the key that we're going to use to cut is longer than the key that's designed to fit in the, uh, that little keyless go module that controls the push starting of this vehicle. This is one of those focus cars that you don't use the key to turn the lock. You just get in and you touch, you press the uh, start button, uh, you know, with your foot on the brake and the vehicle starts. So we're going to cut, uh, the reason why you saw me X out uh, numbers uh, one, uh, two, and three is because we're gonna we're gonna take up the the space by not cutting all the way back. We're gonna start right from where the key would actually the short key would actually start in the lock, which is we're starting at space ten. And as you can see there, I've already identified what the bidding is. We're gonna cut those seven cuts, stick it in this lock, and see what happens. So again, we have this. 2015 Ford Focus that's using the seven pin key versus the 10 pin or 10 cut uh, HU 101 keyway and the situation is is there though there are thousands of these cars that are have flooded the United States or North America there are very few um, jobs that can be done because by locksmiths because uh, the key codes are yet not available as far as the biddings are concerned. They're they're made for a different uh, country or different arena. So again, here's all the lock parts here, as you can see. Um, I, I, I determined what my bidding was right here from the tip to the bow and uh, what I did was I, I cut the key based on the fact that it's short uh, I cut it not to include those last uh, few cuts so you can if you like uh, you, you can use the you can X out the first three and just use those but then you got to deal with the tip so I says okay well let's just make the tip normal and uh, you know uh, blank out the last three cuts so you got seven pins uh, the bidding from the from uh, what, what would be the number one cut which is position four is two three four three one three two so that's what I cut but I used a long blade to do it okay I, I used a long blade and then I took from this blade and put it on the shorter blade after I was uh, sure that you know everything would turn out all right on this this long blade. And this this is what happens when you do that. You see, that's uh, perfectly done. Let's see here if we can get a good shot of this. Um, this is the uh, the key that I cut right here, both sides. And when she goes in the lock, she goes in all the way, and everything is eccentric. And that's how you as a locksmith can do this car without having all of them numbers and stuff that people want to, want to act like you got to pay $90 to get or $250 to get somebody to tell you that it's okay for somebody else to charge you. But then when you really need something, you don't have it, and you just got to sucker down and say, hey, go to the dealer and they can't get it, they can't cut it, they gotta order it. This is why we're here. We're here to do things like this. So instead of looking at how much money you can make off of a, 
a 10 minute job, start looking at the job itself and accomplishing the task. If the task is make a key for this thing here, then if that's the kind of work that you do, do that work. Just don't do stuff just because somebody says, oh, you're locked in, you're supposed to be able to do this. That's no, don't let people tell you what you're supposed to be able to do. Do what you say you do and do it well. Anyway, we're gonna put this back together, but putting it back together is the same as taking it apart. You just reverse your, pro your process and that's it.